Hey everybody, we're going to talk about how to go and easily do polar math on the Sharp 520 family of calculators. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Sharp EL520 XT BBK, which is the only currently available Sharp model, and it is going to be functionally identical to the Sharp EL520 X and the 531X. And in case you're wondering why we care about those Sharp models, it's because the ITA cares about these Sharp models. The Sharp models, EL520, 520X, and 531X, have all been mandated by the ITA. They're going to go and provide these for any of your exams that you write, whether for your Red Seal or for your standard level exam. So for construction electricians, industrial electrician, or even embalmers, it doesn't matter what the trade is going to be, you are going to be using this calculator specifically to go and write your exam. So let's take a look at how to go and do so. And oftentimes when you are going through the work that's in front of you, you're going to go and run into situations like this, where somebody is going to go and have a relatively simple ask. They want to go and add these two values together. Uh, but then they're going to go about it in probably what seems like the most complicated method available. Over here, what this person has decided to do is they've taken each of these angles, they've broken them down into triangles based on the angles and trigs, and they're going to go and find the x-coordinates and the y-coordinates and the x-coordinates and the y-coordinates, and then they're going to go and add both of the y's together, they're going to go and add both of the x's together, and they do this entire thing just through a whole pile of trig. Now there's a very good chance that you don't remember much of the trick because you were probably taught this in grade 10 or grade 11 and this is an electrical course, it's not a mathematics course. So we want to focus on actually getting the answer and the answer that we're looking for is going to go and be this down here at the bottom, 208 volts at 210 degrees. And in order to do that, we are going to go and use the Sharp calculator because the Sharp calculator is way faster. Here's your Sharp calculator. The very first thing that we are going to do is we are going to go and set our mode at this point. So I'm going to go over to this mode button. I'm going to click on the mode button. When I go to the mode button, I'm then able to go and cam all the way over to the number three. You see that little period behind the three? That means we are at the right mode, which is our complex mode. I'm going to hit enter. Now that I'm in complex mode, you should see in the upper left hand corner, a little set of XYs. That x, y means that we are in rectangular, so we can input x's and y's. That's still too complicated because we have to find those. What we want to do is we want to go into polar. And we see that right over top of the 8, we've got this r theta. So we are going to hit second function, and then the number 8, which is now going to change us into polar mode. And now, all we need to do is we need to go back to our original equation, this 120 volts at 240 plus 120 volts at 180. We're going to add them in. We're going to put a 120 and then I'm going to, there's nothing for the volts. We just you know, remember that that's the volts. I need to put in the angle. The angle is right over here above the DMS, degrees, minutes, and seconds. So I hit that, 120 volt angle, 240. And so that one's entered, plus 120 angle, 180. And once I've done that, I'm just going to go and hit enter or equals, and it spits out a number. The very first number that spits out over here is 207.846069, and it continues on from there. We can round this number to go and become 208. The first number that spits out is always going to go and be the magnitude of the number that's going to be ahead of the angular sign. Compare this 207.84 with this 208 over here, and we see that we're at the same number. They just rounded a little bit, but we didn't have to do all the rest of that jankery over there. If I want to go and see what the angle is, I'm going to go and hit second function and then my comma. And when I hit second function comma, it shows in the lower left-hand corner that we are looking at the angle. The angle right now is negative 150. It turns out a circle has got 360 degrees. So if we subtract 150 out of 360, we are going to go and end up at 210 degrees. It will go and always make the smaller. Whatever is less than 180 degrees is what it displays. So sometimes you have to do this last step, you know, manually the way that I just did there right now, where I took 150 out of 360, because it's a negative 150 to get that 210 degrees. But alternatively, uh, if you have covered three phasers already, you know that 208 volts at angle 210 is the exact same thing as 208 volts at angle negative 150. It's just potato, potato, a different way of writing this out. All right, cool. Cheers, guys. That should go and cover you for what you need to know for this going forward. Good luck 